In this video, we present a new mechanical bending actuator for soft and continuum robots using concentric precurved bellows. We will demonstrate the actuation concept behind concentric precurved bellows, discuss how these manipulators can be designed and fabricated using 3D printing, demonstrate parameter identification through FEA and experimental tests on prototypes, derive and validate a torsionally rigid concentric tube kinematics model, and we showcase its potential as a soft robot manipulator. These robots operate under the same principles as concentric tube robots. Precurved tubes are nested concentrically from one another, and through independent axial rotations, the interaction between the precurvatures produce an equilibrium shape. Bellows enable large-scale concentric tube actuation and eliminate torsional lag due to low EI over GJ ratios, which is the ratio of flexural rigidity to torsional rigidity. As shown in figure A, a typical bellows design consists of a convolution geometry that is revolved around a central axis to form a revolute bellows, as shown in figure B. Revolving an inner and outer convolution geometry about a central axis results in a concentric pair of revolute bellows that cannot be assembled or disassembled because they are interlocked. It is also possible to create a bellows tube geometry by specifying a helical extrusion of the convolution geometry instead of a revolved extrusion. This allows easy assembly and disassembly of a bellows tube pair by simply threading them into or out of each other. Prototypers in this paper were 3D printed out of PLA on a MakerBot Replicator 2 at 230 degrees Celsius and with a layer height of 0.15 millimeters. Single wall or shell print settings with no infill and a floor and ceiling height of 0.4 millimeters were used to achieve a finished part with roughly uniform wall thickness. We inserted a curvature jig through the bellows inner lumen to enforce a desired precurvature on the bellows. Bellows are then heated to set precurvature. We will now demonstrate the possible range of motion for a pair of precurved bellows. In order to develop accurate kinematic models and predict concentric tube manipulator performance, it is necessary to calibrate the effective flexural properties of a bellows design. For revolute and helical bellows, flexural rigidity is direction dependent. For revolute bellows, the second moment of area is different when bending about the y and x axes in the cross section. For helical bellows, the flexural rigidity can vary based on the layer direction of 3D printing. To determine the effect of flexural rigidity, we apply a range of tip loads at the distal bellows end and measure the deflection. We then fit the effect of flexural rigidity to the small deflection data using the Euler-Bernoulli tip deflection equation as shown below. This process is applied to both sides of the bellows. Results can be simulated using finite element analysis as well as experimentally on prototypes. The flexural rigidity is calculated from the slope of the line fitting tip loads and deflection. In our parameter characterization process, FEA is used as a design tool to assist designers in finding a suitable flexural performance for an application by iterating the dimensions of bellows. Once a desired flexural rigidity is reached, a prototype can then be fabricated to find the true flexural value. In this section, we generalize a prior torsionally rigid concentric tube kinematics model framework to account for concentric structures that can exhibit direction-dependent flexural rigidity. The kinematics can be derived by analyzing the static moment balance each concentric tube applies to one another. M is defined as the internal bending moment vector. The rotation matrix is applied to each moment to convert the moment from the local material frame of a bellows to the central backbone frame of the robot. Theta is the axial rotation of the ith bellows at its base. Using a linearly elastic constitutive law, we can relate the moments as changes in tube curvature, where k is the bending stiffness matrix, u is the curvature vector, and u star is the initial precurvature vector. The bending stiffness matrix contains the flexural properties that are obtained through the parameter characterization process. Note that in contrast to concentric tube robots, 
the bellows flexural rigidity values can be different in the two bending directions. The equilibrium curvature components in the robot backbone frame can be expressed as an equation 3. By substituting equation 3 into equation 2, the result can be manipulated to obtain the equilibrium curvature vector. The constant curvature transformation matrix T of the robot backbone frame along the arc length S of a segment of overlap bellows tubes can be computed using the matrix exponential. Xi is the matrix containing the equilibrium curvature components. By computing the matrix exponential, we have the following orientation matrix and position vectors. To make the equations more compact, we use shorthand notation. This formulation is equivalent to the commonly used constant curvature transformation, which is expressed in terms of the polar angle and the magnitude of curvature vector. However, our formulation has the advantage that it does not suffer from artificial singularities while in straight configurations, which is inherent to the polar representation. We perform two validation experiments to validate our model and assumptions. In the first experiment, we validate the torsionally rigid assumption of bellows tubes, and in the second experiment, we validate our derived kinematic model. We constructed a manual actuation system that enables rotation and translation of two concentric helical bellows. The setup uses two rotary stages which allow independent rotation of each bellows, because helical bellows require simultaneous rotation and translation with a specific pitch, a dovetail linear stage actuator was used to allow relative translation as the tube rotated. To validate our torsionally rigid model assumption, we actuate the prototype over its entire workspace and measure the relative angle between the two bellows at the segment tip, which is represented as alpha tip, and compare this value to the relative angle of the two bellow bases, which is alpha base. If the bellows pair exhibits torsional rigidity, with no loss to friction, the tip angle should be equal to the base angle for all base rotations. We use a graduated disc and wire pointer, as shown in the figure inset, to measure the angle change. The maximum difference between actuated and measured tip twist was only 4 degrees, which confirms the assumption of torsional rigidity and negligible frictional effects by exhibiting virtually zero torsional lag. To validate the accuracy of the full kinematic model, we actuate the bellows pair by equal angles in opposite directions from the fully pre-curved position to almost completely straight. A stereoscopic camera, along with a stylus pointer, were used to measure shape data of the actuated configurations. We compare the experimental surface shape data to predictions made by our kinematic model. The black line represents the model using FEA-determined flexural rigidity, and the red dashed line represents the model using the experimentally determined flexural rigidity. These results additionally verify the assumption of torsional rigidity and the implication that frictional forces, while present, do not significantly affect the shape because of the high stiffness of the torsional transmission. A concentric bellows robot can lift loads that are four times its own weight. The current prototype can lift 100 grams with minimal deflection. This payload capacity could be useful for a variety of soft robot applications. Future work will entail miniaturization, which could enable bellows as minimally invasive surgical manipulators, multi-segment robots that can further increase dexterity and range of motion, and design optimization strategies that can tailor these robots to specific applications. Thanks for watching.